This is Lobo. I've uh, got my newly crafted TP here. It, it could be called a TP. I guess it's a TP. It's got a point on the top, the hole. Um, it's, it's not complete. Uh, I just got the structure up yesterday. It was still very cold last night. So I need to waterproof it and uh, make it a better heat reflector. So what I've done here is the reason I put these brushes on the side partially was camouflage because the road is just right there about 50 feet away. And uh, by putting this debris on the outside of it, it does help camouflage it for stealth camping purposes. I intend on moving camp by the way. And uh, also too, it holds in debris. Now what I want to do is I want to dump debris on this, just stuff off the ground, just dirt, leaves, pine needles, whatever small twigs. Dump that on there and from my understanding, uh, from what I've seen on YouTube videos, I've already started dumping it here. You're going to want this to be about two feet thick, which is pretty thick. So i got a lot of work ahead of me. Okay, really close to camp, about 20 feet away, maybe only 10 feet away. I have this debris area that I was clearing out, and if you see my previous videos, I've been cutting back all the weeds that are through here, getting the poles, using those for firewood. Uh, what I have here is a five gallon homer bucket, and you can get it for like four bucks at Home Depot. And what I'm doing, putting on some gloves, and I'm simply just grabbing this pile of debris that has accumulated around these stumps when it floods. Filling this up. And then I'm going to take it to the TP and dump it. Alright, I got the TP here. What's up, Frankie boy? I got Frankie off screen here last to a tree. Now, the, the tarps, they didn't quite fit around to the front, so what I've had to do is take sticks and kind of weave them, trying to build up a little bit of a false wall, almost like a wigwam type thing, if you will. And then what I'm doing here. I'm dumping this all through there and hopefully some of it will catch and fill some of these holes. Now a lot of this is going to sift through the holes of course and go inside the TP and then periodically I'll just go inside the opening over there and then scoop it out and then reapply it or push it against the bottom on the inside. But it's nasty stuff, man, but we'll keep you alive in the wintertime. Peace, love, God bless. Y'all take care. This will be the final video in the sequence. Make it really quick. As you can see from piling debris onto it, I've got most of the holes filled uh, with this debris and the spot that I pulled it from as well. It will not uh, It'll be less likely to attract rodents and other creepy crawlies that I'm not a big fan of. I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to bugs. <laughs> Excuse me. I found some nails in the back of the Jeep. So I fashioned a little temporary door for now. Uh, the best way to do this for me, based upon the way the structure is, would be to get some wood and build a, a door. Uh, just basically build the, uh, the outer side of the door, something that size. And then uh, run... Uh, some of these cedar branches, something through it that'll hold debris and then pack it with debris and that way I can just set it up against it. I'd probably do it from the inside because Frankie wants to escape all the time. He doesn't like fire. This poor thing's trapped in here with fire. And then on this side, I'm still working on it. I have to stop to shift gears a little bit. I may rig something up with a towel or something in the inside down here on the bottom. Uh, well, I do have a little green. I ripped the seat. I have a chair out here uh, that broke. So I ripped the back and the seating out and used kind of a makeshift windbreak in there for last night. And it seems to be holding the debris all right, but you can see there's spaces in there. But there is a bunch of debris that fell through on the inside, piles here and piles on the other side. And so uh, what I'm gonna do is once I uh, retire, uh, come in here for the evening, I'll get a fire going, which lights it up pretty good. And then uh, I will begin pushing that debris from the inside to try and fill some of these holes up to stop the wind from coming in. I know, I understand from what people are saying, I need some wind coming in. And uh, I'd rather come in from this direction over here, because the north is off in that way, and that's why I built the door this way. And uh, I was going to do the debris all the way around, but I'm not sure that the tarp is good for that. Because the tarp, as you can see, started to stretch. So I immediately stopped doing that. And I'm just going to have to go with... Uh, a sufficient windbreak uh, back here in the back and hopefully some of this debris here these lighter branches and all will keep some of the uh, uh, heat in all right well I'm gonna cut it short these two rugrats need to eat soon I've already fed them once they're hungry again 
I need to get back on my workstation. I got uh, small pieces of wood. That's about the biggest size that I'll be using inside the tent, or the TP that is. I don't want the flames to get too high. Uh, it is a tarp. It is a little bit flame resistant, but not totally. I don't want to catch it on fire, of course. Still got the garbage there. And then here's what's left of the wood that I use for the big pit out here, which is where I primarily do the cooking and things like that. Change locations because you can see the road from here. So I've got my brown tarp over there. Uh, this is the last of my three tarps. I was keeping this in the Jeep when we were sleeping under it. And this will be my wood storage area. I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange it yet, but I'm going to drop that down, make a spike. That way it's lifted on this side, and then it drops down to the ground on that side over there. Because again, the wind's coming in from this direction. Yeah, so there we go. And from the road, it is a little bit blocked. And with it being brown, it's a natural color. Uh, that'll help hide a little bit. And from now on, I am totally buying camouflage tarps. Because I'm going to be... I think it's in my best interest uh, moving forward for me to be a stealth camper. Because, uh, yeah, I don't like people knowing where I'm at. Anyway, there's my TP slash wigwam slash debris slash whatever it takes to keep me warm at night house. It's a one bedroom with a fireplace. It's not too bad. Peace, love, God bless.